Hello and welcome back everyone to a brand new video here on the channel. It's definitely been a while since the last post, but we're going to be more consistent with the hustle and the videos, the consistent uploads. But without any further talking about that, let's get into this screw farm guide 2022. This is my personal opinion, the best way to farm screws in Fallout 76. But without any further talking at all, let's just get right into the video. Anyway, we're actually already here at the location. This location would be Pylon V13. It's right here in the bottom right. Band of Bulk Town is right here. The isolated array is up here. Let's see. Vault 76 is right up here. You just want to go straight down bottom right. You guys are going to find the Pylon V13. One thing I will warn you guys about is there are lots of Gulper, Mirelurk, a lots of the chance for Behemoth spawns. You guys just want to be careful when going through here. But you just guys want to follow the path I go. And all you want to do is come down through here, up the stairs, into this truck right here. And now this truck, first there will be normally a 50 caliber machine gun spawn right here. And some kind of melee. I got a super sledge this time. But after that, you guys want to come right over here. You guys want to... We're not going to talk about that one. Let's just uh, really disrupt it. Okay. Like I was saying. Instead of going to the truck this time, we're just going to go straight to the place we need to go. 50 caliber machine gun. We already know is not there. So we're just going to come straight over here. All you guys want to do is follow the road down here until you get to this alleyway. Now, now all you guys want to do is take these stairs all the way up. And now, guys, if you do enjoy this or it helps you in any way, please drop a like and subscribe. It's much appreciated and it helps a lot. But... But the, off that topic, let's continue. Once we're at the top of this roof, all you guys want to do is go down this abandoned elevator shaft. And then, as you guys see, there will be tons of telephones and typewriters. All you guys want to do is collect every single one of these telephones and typewriters. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this so you guys can see. Alright everyone, now that you've collected all of the typewriters and telephones, there is some different doodads like globes and a bunch of other junk items around here. Just look through file cabinets, look through desks, there's a ton of other kind of junk items and etc that you guys can find here. Just go ahead and take all of it and you guys just want to drop down into here. And here you'll also find many bags of cement, lots of other trinkets and junk items. Just look around, it's all over the place. There's tons of toolboxes, tons of different things you can loot. There's junk items all over the place. We've got toolboxes here, caps with plans and more junk items. You just want to click everything you can around here. And then if you guys come right over here, there'll be about five more bags of cement. So it is also a very amazing for if you guys need cement. But just continue around here. We got some tool walls. Just collect everything you can. And then once you're done with everything, you can follow where I go. You guys just want to come out here. You guys want to come through this wall. Come out of here. Down the stairs. And right here, there'll be a tinker's workbench where you can scrap all of the junk you just got. And guys, as you can see right there, we got 42 concrete from that. Three circuitry, which is nice. Some copper. We got lots of other different kinds of things. We got 22 gears, as you guys can see. Screws. We got 13. Lots of springs and steel. That is going to be the screw guide. Lots of other things you can get from here. Lots of junk items. But as always, if you guys enjoyed or this helped you in any type of way, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.